Hey guys, welcome back for some more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we uh, we climbed up to Hoo Hoo Mountain and uh, we defeated not Blablanadon. We saved Blablanadon. Well, Blablanadon didn't even need saving. Blablanadon was just kind of there. Uh, so we, uh, you know, we found Blablanadon and he is back here now. Uh, over that way, I think. Um, and we also did rescue Prince Peasley, who was transformed by Fawful into the Drag Ho Ho. And now we're gonna go in here. Because we have to recover the Hoo Hoo block. And. Oh, right, I give him Torbjorn's voice. Okay, um, again, not good at voices, but I'm doing it anyway because it'll either be good and I'm just. and I just think it's bad, or it'll be funny how bad it is. So. Hmm. Boy, did you two arrive exactly at time. I already... <laughs> I already screwed it up. Hmm. Boy, did you two arrive at, the at exactly the right time. Just now, Hoo-Hoo Block fell down the waterfall. Check it out. We'll use it to make you the ultimate hammer. Torby, on ready to work. Oh, that's how you do it. You just smack a rock with your head and it turns into wood and rubber or metal or stone. I don't know what that head would be made out of. I guess stone because, you know, that's what they used. But it was purple, so I don't know. Who? 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 You know, since it's December. Ho, ho, ho. Man, this feels so great making to be making hammers again after such a long break. In fact, it feels so darn great that we went ahead and made you guys two hammers. Look at that craftsmanship. Pow! Now you're playing with power. Yeah, you got that right. These bad boys are now all yours. So not only can they change the properties of matter, but they can also float and multiply objects and yeah you gotta wonder why npcs in video games never do anything when they're always the most powerful ones they can never die i guess we ought to teach you guys how to properly use hammers huh first press the r the r button to select your hammer then press the oh I don't, they messed it up. The, the red one is talking, but the green one is doing the animation. Huh, I never noticed that. Then press the A button to wax off. That's it. But uh, right now, the only guy in front, only the guy in front can use a hammer. So the action the guy in front does with, the action the guy in front does with the A button is called the solo action. The action the guy in the back does with the B button is called the bros action. This is the most basic of all the basics. Remember it. Try whacking all kinds of stuff with those hammers. One manly whack breaks the hardest rocks. You know, you ought to break that hammer... Wait. You ought to break that hammer in by smashing the rock in the next room. So, they mentioned that whoever's in the back has a bros um, action, even though they said only the guy in front can use it. So, you know, we can use a hammer now. We just swing it in front of you, hit whatever you want. Uh, hit the fourth wall if you feel. But, the bros action is still an option. What does that do? It does that, which I love. Um, do it again with, with the, um. Okay, wait, what? Hang on, is it just like a glitch? Okay, for some reason Mario can't use the hammer in the back? I don't think that's normal. Maybe it might be a glitch. I don't know. Um but we'll roll with it and just If this is in fact a glitch and I'm just not just forgetting that for some reason Mario can't use the hammer in the back at first, he essentially just does exactly what Luigi did to him. He smacks his brother in the head, and then get, and then the brother gets mad. So yeah, we can break rocks now. Any like cracked rocks, of course. And for that, we got a nut, which is a new item that I guess we'll use whenever. You know, I'll just tell it, say it. So 
Nuts are basically items that heal less HP, but they heal it to both bros at the same time. So there's that. And, uh, wait, no. Wait, wait is this... No, we don't want to go this way. This is the mountain. So now we have hammers. That's cool. So there's a few things we can do. Uh, the, basic, the most basic thing is to smash the rock security guard blocking our progress. But we go in here. I believe there is something we can do. Never mind. Nothing you can do in there. Um, but where we can go, down here in the first area of uh, the village. You can now break these rocks, which does absolutely nothing for you. And unfortunately, we cannot break these blue rocks yet. You're only limited to the beige blocks. So I just wasted a lot of time, cool. Anyway, coming back to where the security guard was, we can now access this area. Um, where there's a block, we're gonna want that. And we give ourselves another nut. So, uh, there's that. And now we got a bunch of rocks to break. And I think it's in your best interest to break every rock you see, just because I think sometimes there are items in them. There's also this thing. And when you do that, it turns on that water. And so now we can go up here, get ourselves some water, and, uh, actually, wait, hang on. Before we do that, I just want to see. Never actually tried hitting this while it's on fire. Um, I know that if you touch it, that happens, but, oh, it just, alright, so, uh, fire has, um, uh, densing properties, anything lit on fire is then, like, ten times denser, so there's that, so we could break that, and, uh, we got another bros block, so give me, like, five years, alright, there's that. Got a save block right here. We got some rocks to break. Mysterious mine carts. Destination Hoo Hoo Mountain Base. Capacity one per cart. So there's that and going this way. I think this is just extra items. We got a mushroom. We got some syrup. We got another mushroom. More syrup. Very generous. Um, can't go anywhere else here. So yes, yeah, just some extra items. Um, suggest you grab that. Anyway, going up here, got this nice music, and bean dog, look at this bean dog, I love this bean dog, and we got this beanie old man, what are they, pods? Wait, hang on, let me try to, I, whenever I do, like, old man voice, I always like to just, like, kinda throw back to Game Grumps. Whoa there, pards. It's been a Goomba's age since we had any strangers in these parts. Now listen, fellas, if you want to rid the if you want to ride in them trusty old carts, I won't go a stopping you. But I'd advise watching for trouble. Yep, no one knows where these rails lead. Still I'll tell you something. You might just be able to find some jewels about jumping a bit in there. While you're hopping for loot, watch out. If you spot danger, just shine your light at it. Oh, mercy, there I go again. I'm always boring folks with, to tears with stuff like this. So, uh, tell me, boys. Get around the carts? Yes, we shall. This is another minigame in this game. So, essentially, you have a flashlight that you can move, and pressing A and B will have the brothers jump. And there will be obstacles, and also these batteries. You're gonna want to collect batteries to keep the light uh, shining, because it will get progressively dimmer. And you can, uh, and you also want to grab these gems. Now the perspective can be a little bit weird sometimes, but it's well, one thing to remember is that the batteries will always be things that Mario can collect, not Luigi. And Luigi can only collect green gems, while Mario can only collect red. So yeah. And you want to keep this light on Luigi so you can see what's coming up. And whoa, you also want to dodge things because if you get hit, uh, you will lose some gems. So you just want to get as many gems as you can. And that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, got that battery, got that gem. Got the battery, got the gem. Ugh, got that. Got that. Got that. Dodge that. It's like a baby, like, swamp 
uh, stalactite or stalagmite. No, stalactite that comes from the ceiling, right? And uh, oh, actually, you do need to get uh, at least 10 gems in order to clear this. So there's that. <laughs> do that. And the old man just kind of is here now. Yeah, hmm, why howdy again. Yeah. Well, fellas, this spot marks the last stop in the long, strange railroad ride of my life. But I reckon your adventure's just begun. Get to it, boys. Well, we'll do that a little bit later. We're gonna talk to you again. You looking to ride again? Yes. <laughs> Luigi. So, most of these mini-games you can immediately replay afterwards. If not, you can replay them again later. Replaying uh, one of these mandatory mini-games uh, for the second time, or just again after you complete them for the first time, uh, they will be harder and you can actually get some prizes for doing so. So that's what we're going to be doing. We got... Oh yeah. Uh, like the old man said, if you see any like bats, you can shine your light on them and they will go away. And I don't know if they can be... And I think they are, they can only be on Mario's trail. I don't know, actually. They might be on both. I don't know. Maybe that one was on Luigi's. It just looked like it was on Mario's. So I don't know. Because we have seen that there are hazards on both tracks. And Luigi's all the way down there. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Get you all. Yeah. Get that. Uh, get that. So I don't think now for this I don't think there's any like more limits as to how many uh, gems you collect but um, there is a certain point where okay yeah each time for this one you have to collect like five more I guess what is with the Luigi sprite there I'm gonna throw a little like screenshot of that back up because that looked really off that just that was just really off-putting you made it to level two well done tell you what I'll tell you what I'll set up, I'll set you up with beans. These little fellas are rare. An old coot like me don't need them. Go, and, go on and get beanie. So yes, for completing mini games, you get... Nothing. <laughs> you get he beans. He beans are one of the four types of beans we will encounter in this game. Each type of bean, like said, um, can only be uh, collected a certain way. Who beans are gotten from enemies. And he beans are one from from uh, mini games. If you want to get 100%, if you want to do really good in this game, you will replay these mini games. Some mini games are better than others. One in particular is the best thing ever. Uh, this one, maybe I'll replay it like once more. But yeah. Um, and I think each level you complete will give you more beans. At least usually most mini games. I don't. There might be one mini game that gives you the same amount of beans every time. Or I may just be thinking, just making stuff up. I don't know. Alright. Um. Oh. Okay, yeah. I'm not really, I was about to say, I'm not really the best at this game. I'm, I'm okay at it, but. Eh. I don't, and I don't really find it too fun. So, you know. Whoa, I got brain, I, I brain farted. Uh, ugh. oh god, this is bad. I'm not doing good. And no, I did not do good. <laughs> Look at Luigi again! Oh my god. So yeah, that was kind of, kind of poop. But you know. And I think actually, if you do this. Okay, no. I know there is some sort of, maybe if it's if you go back to the other side, but the old man kind of fades in. So maybe he's a ghost. I don't know. Anyway, outside of here, we got some blocks. We got a save block over there. We got these rocks. We got blocks and rocks. Yeah. And uh, over this way. Wait up. We forgot to mention one more, one thing. We never taught you how to use our hammers in battle. Ready to learn? Nah. Ouch, try being polite, will ya? Ready to learn? Okay, so yeah. Then we'll explain it in battle. 
So, to whack with a hammer. Mario uses the A button and Luigi uses the B button. Pretty basic stuff. Talking don't do it justice though. Let me explain by example. First, let's do some solo actions using hammers. Wait a sec. Press the A button right there. Oh man, that's smart. But I'm a hammerhead bro, so I'll be fine. No big deal. I'm not the one going on the adventure. I'm too Im I'm too invincible. We gotta send you out so that you can die. Press the button when the hammer shakes. When it shakes, you got it. And the uh, old green guy there should press the B button when his hammer shakes. Ugh, getting a headache. So uh, next we got to learn how to defend with the hammer. Now, press and hold the B. When you release the button now. No, that's too long. You gotta release the, the button before the hammer starts to shake or the whole deal falls apart. Do it again, man. When you release the button now, yeah, that'll leave a mark. Even though they're like professional made hammers apparently, they just fall off. So anyway, you get the idea. Wanna try it again? Nah, we got it. So to review, for hammer attacks, choose your hammer, and wait till it shakes, press the button, bonk for hammer attack. Bonk, 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 Here's a scout here. Sorry. On the fence, hold it behind you and release. Then release it before it shakes. Bonk! Perfect hammer defense. Good luck and practice up. So, yeah. Uh, if you're not really good at the jumping timing, some people aren't really too good at it. Um, I'm not always the best at it, to be completely honest, but if you're not the best at it, hammers are usually your better bet. And they're riding in the carts again. <laughs> okay, I don't, under I don't understand why that triggered them to walk like that, but you know. So anyway. Over here we got some black rocks, we can't break those, and up here I believe we just have some more blocks. Go on over here. Get the bros block, give me a second. Okay. And we got some more branching pathways. Over here we have Oh, this is that area that we went to in Hoo Village that we couldn't pass. So if for whatever reason you want to go to Hoo Village and not come back, there you go. And over here, uh, we got this mysterious object and nothing else to do here. So that will be for later on. Um, yeah, and then back down here, the only other way to go is down. So before going that way, I think we're going to end the episode here. So... Uh, in the next episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we'll see what's down there. Bye-bye.